now it's time for RTB 101. And this is the segment where we try to help equip you to be able to share your faith in very practical ways with your friends and family. And I'm here with my friend, Kenneth Samples. Hello. And we're kind of getting toward Christmas. It's yeah. that wonderful time of year. But from a Christian perspective, it's truly a wonderful time of year. It's the coming of the Savior. And I'm just wondering, Ken, why is this such an important idea, so central to our belief system as Christians that God came in human flesh? Yeah, it's a critical idea. I would call it the heart of the Christian faith. God has unveiled himself. He's revealed himself. Jesus isn't just a prophet like Muhammad or Moses or somebody else that points to God. Jesus is God, so he's able to reveal God up close in personal terms. Oh, very good. And he came as a human being, you know, yes, his, I used right. to think when I was a kid that his last name was Christ. And yes, Mary, Mr. and Mrs. Christ. Mr. and yeah. Mrs. Christ. But really he was Jesus. He was a human being from Nazareth, a real town. And uh, he came into space and time. He was a real person. Yes. And how does that compare with the other religions of the world and other prophets and great teachers. Yeah, very, very important. Uh, Jesus is God. He reveals the Father and the Spirit. Jesus is the incarnate Son of God. Uh, there's nothing like that even in Judaism, certainly nothing in Islam where God reveals himself in human form. Uh, now, there are other religions like uh Hinduism that claims to have avatars, but even there, there really is no God in human flesh. And so the doctrine of the incarnation makes Christianity distinct. Now, I've heard some of my unbelieving friends say that, uh, well, Jesus never claimed to be God. Uh, that's something that Christians kind of threw on him later, you know, after Constantine. How can we think about yeah, that? Yeah, very important topic. One thing I would say is the most exalted Christology, that is terms that speak of Jesus in uniquely divine ways, appear in the earliest Christian literature. There are hymns, there are early primitive creeds that speak of Jesus in the form of God. So it, it appears clearly that the primitive Christian church, and by primitive, I mean Jewish Christian, they worship Jesus as God, which of course is a strange thing for a Jew to see another human creature and say, no, he's more than that. He's God in human sure. flesh. Yeah, that's good. So when people say that, I shouldn't feel kind of threatened, like, oh, you know, I've never heard that before, that, you know, Jesus never claimed to be God because right from the beginning, that was there. And he makes the claims, uh, the most sacred name of God in the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah is I am or I am he. John eight fifty eight. when press says, before Abraham came into being, I am. So he's using the most sacred name of God and placing it upon himself. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, that's good. Now, when I talk about the incarnation to my unbelieving friends sure. and family members, that's kind of a big word and it's it's really hard yes. to think about. Do you have any advice for me for maybe as you've talked to unbelievers over the years, like what makes them curious to know more about the incarnation? What helps them care about that? I think it's very important to distinguish the incarnation from any kind of myth or legend. This is a historical, factual event. I think it's important to illustrate as well that with Jesus, you don't have to go to somebody else. It's not like Moses pointing to Yahweh or Muhammad pointing to Allah, but Jesus is God in personal terms, not just a philosophical argument for God existing, but God entering into human history as a, as a real, personal, historical individual. And that really gives history a meaning, Oh, it? absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's yes. very meaningful. Well, thanks for joining us, Ken. You and bet. I want to encourage everyone, if you haven't yet, to follow Ken uh, and his blog. Check out reflectionsbyken.blogspot.com.